Hey, what you doing in there? Today, we make meatloaf. <gasps> what? Mm -hmm. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. What is a meatloaf? A meatloaf is probably the most perfect, <clears throat> perfect meal found in nature. It is a bacon weave um, mm. underneath, and then sausage squashed down on top of that, oh. and then your choice of meats and cheeses on top of the sausage. The sausage is then wrapped, the bacon is then wrapped, and then you bake it <clears throat> at 385 for 45 minutes. And we're going to do that today, and we're going to make it awesome. Surely you jest. I do not. I would never joke about something as important as meat. Okay, a lot of times regular bacon won't do. Note the symmetry of this bacon. Mm. See its rectangularity? Mm. A lot of times you don't get that. You'll get <clears throat> one that pinches in the middle and then widens back out. That's not what you want. You want nice width because they've got to lay out evenly next to each other and be able to press together. Okay, we've got eight going this way. Now, it's important to do this on a movable tinfoil surface because now comes the weaving bit. It's starting to look like a placemat. Yeah, it's something that, you know, you'd be proud to display if guests came over. You want to make sure that a lot of these little spots are are sealed up because you don't want the juices of, of what goes on top of the bacon to be lost. Okay, this is sufficient. Mm. Now look at that. Just by itself, that's a beautiful thing. That is so beautiful. Yeah. It's a bacon blanket. Yeah. I mean, <sighs> you can imagine that cooked and heated and warmed. You'd want to be warmed inside that yourself. Yes, you would. And then now your way to breakfast. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Now this is, uh, next step is, is my own little addition to the recipe. What we're going to do now is fry a couple eggs for the, the interior. Mm. Bacon and eggs. That's just American. You're being a patriot at the same time. Yeah, I, I would say if you, if you refuse to make bacon or meat log, there's, there's, probably, there's probably a reason for you to be investigated by the NSA. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for a flattish kind of thing there. We're not worried mm -hmm. about yolks that stand up or anything like that. Exactly. Exactly. Because you don't want it to get in the way of the rolling. Mm -mm. Because the next step involves taking a pound of sausage and placing that atop the glorious weave. So this you've got to work a little bit with your hands. And get it here and kind of kind of spread it out a little before you get it down there. And then once you're here, this is probably probably like a vegan nightmare. Yeah. Well, and I'm not sure that this dish is kosher either. You'd have to look into it if you were on. <laughs> you know, if, if that was something you were you were working toward. Yeah. And, and you'd have to talk to you know someone in the know on that. Some Jewish rabbi somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you would. And I'm not sure. Maybe you just need him to bless it is all, but there's probably more to it than that. Yeah. <laughs> now comes your touches. You know, I told you I'm going to do uh, a couple eggs in here. What, uh, what my friend does is he inserts at this point uh, crumbled blue cheese. Um, I don't have any of that, so I'm going to put in these two fried eggs and then garnish with just a couple of plain old slices of cheese mm. and maybe some pepper jack cheese. Mm. Now comes the technical bit. <clears throat> you got to work up this edge. You got to get it to come up evenly across the whole whole length of the weave, but not, not, not to pick up any bacon though simultaneously. Take your time with this part. Don't rush it. Don't get in a hurry. Because mm -hmm. the, the perfect final product is worth it. Worth you can't rush a good log. No, nope, you cannot rush a good meat log. So, now we work it the opposite way. Now, Slowly, but 
absolutely. See, when you that first that first one when the sausage is being rolled over, mm. it it adheres to the to the bacon, <clears throat> and for mm. obvious reasons, if you know anything about chemistry, the polarity of bacon and sausage are identical. Oh right. Yeah, so they're it, it causes adhesion. Mm -hmm. You can ask any chemistry teacher, and they'll mm -hmm. tell you. They'll, they'll explain it to you. I don't, I don't have time in this video to, to explain well, that. Well, of course not. Now, observe. See what we've done. Now, you can handle this carefully and change its direction. Okay, look at that. Wrapped with care, uh -huh. ready for cooking. That is so beautiful. A sauce of your choice Preferably something that doesn't sweeten um, the meat log. I'm picking A1 because it's low in carbs and it gives a good, good flavor to it. Mm -hmm. um, so let's try that. Now this this part you'll have to experiment with and see if it's to your own taste. I don't I don't require a lot because of the natural flavor of of it, but it gives it a a, a crispy texture. Mm. I just drooled on my chest. <laughs> just wait until you smell it cooking. You'll see guys from all over the neighborhood coming over, hanging out, <laughs> acting like they're you know, working or doing something else. There it is. Now, 385, 40 to 45 minutes. And that's all there is to it. That's pretty easy. So effort invested to return on that investment in t flavorful, tasty goodness. Well, look at look at the mess we've made. We got this. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to have the plate. One pan, one brush, and a mm -hmm. spatula or two, mm -hmm. and an eggy leftover bits. So for dishes you've got to do later, it's hard to beat this. It's better mm -hmm. than a cake. You don't have to mix anything. Mm -hmm. um, minimal cleanup. Very that's, little. That's what cleanup. I'm after. Yeah. Welcome back. We just heard the oven tell us that deliciousness is at hand. Oh. That is beautiful. Is it not? Just wait until you taste it. Look at that. Oh, wow. How many carbs do you see in there? Zero. Now, how much protein do you see? It's all about that. Nearly 100%. Yeah. That's just fat and protein. Mm-hmm. Proof of the pudding is in the testing. I feel like Pavlov's dog right now. <laughs> is it is it better than I said? Or better. Could you have even imagined such a flavor combination? It's like the world's best cheeseburger and the world's best piece of chocolate cake had a baby and it became something better. <laughs> and you almost get the sense of euphoria, like you could do anything after eating this. I could do anything. It's almost more than I can bear. I know. I think we've tapped into the, the wisdom of the ancients and you know, I, I think this has been excluded from mortals for centuries, with good reason. <clears throat> But we've uh, we brought it back. We got chicken, cow, and pig in here. Yeah, and it's so much flavor. You really don't need anything on it. No, no, it's the perfect trifecta: chicken, cow, pig. Yeah. Slice number three. I've lost all control. I cannot stop. Why? Why stop? Yeah. There's no reason. <laughs> I feel like I could take on Thor with my right arm right now, and the Hulk with my left. Arm. I could do it. I believe you could. 